Welcome! In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare vector graphic artwork in Illustrator before exporting it to the Blender 3D Creation Suite. This is the first in a series of tutorials uh, dealing with um, the Blender 3D Creation Suite in general, introducing to some general techniques and then demonstrating practically how to create a 3D logo from a 2D vector file. The files for this tutorial you will find in the course default files folder on our LMS. Just have a look inside um, the folder 3D logo and there you will find three different files which are uh, quite helpful in order to follow this tutorial. First of all, the file called Calibri.zip. This is an archive file containing the complete Calibri typeface. The WeCare logo um, was created with this typeface. So before you opening the Illustrator file itself, it is recommended that you install Calibri as a typeface if you haven't got it already. Then you have the Illustrator file itself. It's an Illustrator 10 compatible um, vector file in order to make sure that you can open it in various versions of the program. And then you have a JavaScript file, select openpathes.js. I'm getting back to you on this file. So please open the vcare underscore one.ai file with Illustrator preferably. If you have set your interface to Essentials as I did and if you have a look inside the file's layer structure you will see that the logo currently consists of three objects plus one text object. Now the first and very important step is to make sure that this text is rendered correctly in um, all kind of programs and without relying on the Calibri font installed on a system. We need to convert this type object, this text object into vector graphic forms. In Illustrator this is very easy to um, achieve. Just make sure that the text object is selected and then from the main menu choose Type, Create Outlines. That's it. Now another look inside the layer structure, I'm going to expand it a bit here, tells us that it's not a text object anymore, it's actually converted into vector graphic shapes. And now the whole um, group of letters here is assembled in a group. We keep it like that. We would like to make sure that everything will work flawlessly later in Blender. So I'm going to perform some common cleanup tasks with um, this Illustrator file. First of all, I'm going to check are there any stray points or arbitrary brush strokes in my vector graphic file. There's a built-in routine under Select Object and there you can check for, first of all, for stray points. Any unwanted um, point, former clicks with the pen tool, for instance, um, are now selected. There is nothing selected in my file, so there are no stray points. And this certainly is good news. Then let me also um, check for brush strokes. There are no brush strokes in it because um, they um, wouldn't render properly in Blender. And if you have brush strokes in your logo, you need to um, expand them before exporting the artwork. And finally, just to make sure that everything was all right, I can try to select any text object, but since we had converted the text already, nothing is selected. So, the um, file is clean so far. Now, next thing to check would be if all our forms here are, our paths, our shapes are correctly constructed. 
especially I would like to avoid any open shapes in my vector graphic file. That means shapes where the um, anchor points are not closed properly. This can really cause serious problems in 3D software. There is unfortunately currently no built-in routine to check for those open paths in Illustrator and we would need to install a small helper script. The helper script you'll find in the course default files as well. It is this JavaScript file, select open paths. So you can download it from here and then we need to make it part of the Illustrator installation. It's a very helpsome script. It's recommended that you have it anyway together with Illustrator. It's a good idea to check first where the installation folder of our Illustrator program is, you um, can get this information from the help menu under System Info. Now it looks like this, a lot of complicated lines and information. Just scroll down to the section Application Folder. And there we have it. In my case, it's on my C drive under Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, CS6 in the 64-bit version. So let's look this up. On my local C drive, I have the Program Files folder, I have the Adobe folder, and there we have Illustrator CS6. Now, inside um, this Illustrator installation folder, check for the folder Presets. Inside Presets you find your um, installations language folder and inside the language folder you have the folder scripts. That is the important folder. As you can see, um, already placed the JavaScript file inside this scripts folder select open paths.js means javascript you will do the same with your installation just drag and drop the um, script inside your presets and then the language and the scripts folder you might um, need to have administrator rights if you're working on a windows machine once you placed um, your JavaScript file inside this folder, you need to restart Illustrator because um, the program needs to um, read the presets folder again on startup. So after you placed it, restart Illustrator and you should be done. Now the script should be available under the file menu, Scripts select open paths here it is and if you see that you can see nothing then everything is fine so i don't have any stray points brush strokes text objects or open paths in my logo file um, finally i'm going to clean up the file itself you can see that there are uh, still a lot of uh, default swatches inside uh, the file we have also um, symbols and uh, a lot of brushes you might have activated. Let's get rid of them all. There is another built-in routine which we can use for this purpose. You will find it under the Actions panel in Illustrator. Um, it should already be um, laid inside. Delete unused panel items. You just need to select it and then press the play button here and everything has been nicely cleaned up. All unwanted um, panel items are gone. Unfortunately, uh, Blender has problems in reading Illustrator files, especially the most current versions. So if we would like to make sure that everything is going to work just fine, we need to convert this Illustrator file into a file format that Blender can understand. Blender as an open source program is um, very good to understand the open source vector graphic for format SVG, scalable vector graphic. And that's what we are going to convert this file into. 
a scalable vector graphic. In Illustrator choose File, Save As and there you can choose scalable vector graphic, not the compressed version, but the ordinary scalable vector graphic from the drop down menu. So I'm going to save this as vcare underscore 01 SVG, scalable vector graphic. If you push the save button, you will see this wizard popping up. SVG 1.1, that is the format we need to use. Um, the rest is not so important. So you just press OK and here we go. This file, as clean as it is in scalable vector graphic format, would be sufficient in order to be exported and imported then into Blender. Thank you and take care so long. Thank you.